And also, I hope by later I mean you're not going to take him apart, right? Because I don't want that to happen. <laughs> uh, I mean, later you can talk to him. <laughs> Legion's my buddy. We got the Turian 6th Fleet. Excellent. Okay. I'm reading this real quick. Yeah. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Well, Legion's on our side. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Corris commands them. If he survived his crash landing on Rannoch. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Who has the largest fleet? Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. That's crazy. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrixen. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines. But we'll do whatever we must to win. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war. Comprised of all Quirian vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course. But we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet, per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. I don't know why she's unstable, but let's say it! She's the one that was all like, I need to take Legion apart and figure out how he works. See, I didn't notice that part. I just thought she wanted to talk to him. She's not going to take Legion apart, is she? I didn't just give her permission, did I? Not directly, no. Because if we did, I need to reload and go back and tell her no. No, you're fine. Because it makes me sad to think about her taking Legion apart. It's okay. I feel bad that I said later. It's okay. It's too late. I already feel bad. I know. You still want to say yeah. she's unstable? You're not worried about her losing perspective given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Yeah, that wasn't a decision, that was a comment. I should have said no. That's okay. It's my biggest report. Oh, no! <laughs> can I say? I can save now! Woo! Shepard Commander. Um. Geth threatening live ships? You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarians' live ships. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ships' defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people, 
So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Rewriting the heretics increased the number of Geth allied with the old machines. This has resulted in a greater number of hostile Geth platforms. So you're saying it was a mistake? It has put us at a tactical disadvantage. This was not a foreseen outcome, but we cannot change a decision once it is made. Do you harbor regrets about rewriting the heretics? Well, they could have been allies. The Corians hit first. If we get rid of the Reaper's signal, maybe this war doesn't have to end with everyone destroyed. An interesting notion. Most organics would not hold on to ideals of peace for so long. Uh, these are all different now. Well, this one's different. What was interfacing with a Reaper like? Weird. The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming, unknowable. You sound odd. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced, but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. The Geth have fought the Corians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Corian flotilla attacked it. Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. So, your people panicked? Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. What'd you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. We'll talk later. We will remain here. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real Admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The Board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Sounds useful. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. <gasps> can you join me? No! Well, this is over. I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. 
If we survive this, we'll have a home world. My people need me. You could help your people's home world by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Oh, we should do that. Your mayday will have to wait. Yeah, we'll get back to your mayday in a little bit. Just try to die slowly. But it's tough to only fight Geth when the Reapers have taken out the galaxy. Without the fleet, we lose our supply line. Lose your Commander, supply we've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot on Sion. I've updated the galaxy map. Thank you. The cure from Malin. Oh. I just heard the news that you cured the genophage and that some of the females from my experiments were involved. I can't tell you how good this makes me feel. There hasn't been an hour I've not thought about what happened on Tachanka and wonder if I did the right thing. The news validates all the pain my experiments caused. I hope one day to meet the females again and ask for their forgiveness. After you convinced Dr. Solis to spare me, I took his advice and opened a clinic on Omega. I thought it would help make amends for what uh, for whatever suffering I caused. I had to leave when word got back to Clan Werelock and they put a bounty on my head for failing to deliver a cure. Maybe now they'll leave me alone. I guess this is the second time you saved my life, Commander. Citadel meetup from Jacob. We already did that. Yeah, we did do that. Crucible update from Bryn. Thank you again for all you did getting the group out of the facility on Gellix. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man, and it's a privilege to work under him. The construction of the Crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries. Although I never rely on luck, it is uh, in this instance I feel we may need it a little. Stay safe. From Miranda, I have something important to tell you. I need to do this in person. Can you meet me in the commons? I'll send a nav point. No vids. Okay, so they want to. So that's back on the Citadel, right? Yeah, Miranda wants to talk on the Citadel. And we'll mess with the distress call. I just didn't want to start it and it launch into something. No, no, I'm totally cool with that. Sorry. No, I was telling Eternal. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were telling me, and I was all like, I'm fine with it. No, no, no. I know you know what you're doing. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. Yeah. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me, and I don't know if I can save them. It's not your responsibility. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... and Zen's ideas, the new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up, that's based on my father's work. If they die because of me, if... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. No, oh, yeah, I saw that. Okay, now we need to change our armor. Yeah, I saw that in the cutscene. I was all uh, like, yeah. I was all like, we're gonna do that. Oof. All right. All right. Chest. Shield regen. Okay. Shoulders. I can get shield boost. Arms. We're gonna stick with health boost and legs. We'll stick with health. Okay. So there we go. That will get me roughly what the other suit was. Yeah, you'll still get, you'll lose a little bit of shield boost and regeneration, but you're going to look so much better. Yeah. Oh, she looked like Jordy. With that? Yeah, that looks terrible. 
Oh, the helmet does stuff too, or no? Is it just... Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, the hel Oh, the helmets do do shit. Oh, hold on. So choose the, choose the helmet based on what it does. That gives me health and shield boost. That gives me health boost and shield regen. Kind of like the health and shield boost. All right. Go with that. That doesn't look too bad either. I don't care what it looks like as long as it gives us good stats. So we're only losing just a little bit. And besides, you're going to see the purple anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, what were we going to do? I honestly don't know. Maybe go talk to the distress signal. Talk to people, maybe. Yeah, Other... hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you're going a little... You're giving me too many options. <laughs> Let's look at this. Okay. Okay, we got the fuel reactors. We'll go talk to those people, and then we'll probably do the fuel reactors, because that'll be a quick mission. Oh, there was also the stuff on the Citadel. Miranda. Oh, Miranda. That's right. Commander Shepard. Lady. Hold on, distress signal. We'll get to you. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kunesh. We lost barriers. Our comm system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming. Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help. We have hull breaches. Life support failing. Ah. Ron, the Kunesh is getting swarmed by death fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kanesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. That was easy. Oh. It was highlighted like it was necessary. You're necessary. I almost choked on my spit. <clears throat> Don't do that. Commander. Fun fact, you have a time limit on that warning? Probably if we go and do another mission, it would it would fail. How much t how much more time do you want to play for tonight, Cappy? A, a little bit more. I thought we were gonna see if there's anything people on the ship want to say. Okay. Let's make our rounds and see if there's any new text. Oh, remember go towards the light. So save and then go towards I will. the light. Thank you. I remember the go towards the light, Carolyn. <laughs> it was a good see. It's a good way to remember it. Man, those Quarian admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, <laughs> who knows, there's a tentacle monster under there? What's going on? <laughs> good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Adams is good, but I never feel like the engine's running right without Tally around. Kind of a good luck charm. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? No. We are not. <laughs> right. Just making sure. Separate standards and all. And you found Legion. You still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the Geth continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. Commander. You want to save first, yeah. just in case? Let's override this. Okay. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. <laughs> this is an infiltration unit, meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat. Nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie? <laughs> Did vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. Hello, Shepard. Right. Oh. Oh, Baka asked. K 
Can't okay. you talk to him over the counter? Yeah. Yes, but I'll get stuck. Yeah, we did. We tried that before. Uh, we talked, and it, like, sucked us over. Well, it teleported us to the other side. Yeah. And then we didn't know how to walk back. I, I, so it didn't actually get us stuck. It just put us on the other side, and at the time, we hadn't figured out where the safe spot was. I thought it locked you in where you couldn't move at all. Maybe it did. So, yeah, the answer is no. <laughs> yeah. No. <Yeah. laughs> the going towards the light is the safest route. The answer is no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, like I said, when I get ready to play this again on my subsequent uh, playthroughs that we're going to do after this... Uh, I plan on looking into a couple of mods, that, yeah. and hopefully one of them will fix that problem. It happened to us every single time. Oh, yeah. And someone else was like, I only ever had that happen to me once. Maybe Amos said that, and we were. I was just thinking, like, well, it's if happened can, to us that would each be appreciated. time. Searching for any mention of your recruits is not a complicated protocol, Major. Trying to find out what happened to your people? Yeah. Edie, make the scope galaxy-wide. If I can find just one squad, they may lead me to the others. Good luck, Caden. Thanks, Shepard. I'll let you know what happens. I will establish the routine now. Edie out. By the way, Shepard, it's been good having Tally around. She's a good egg. Yeah. But wait. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> in case it's some kind of Corian insult. That's fair. But the Geth? I certainly could have lived happily without coming face to face with another one of those. Got a few things on my plate. Got a few things on my plate. That's fair. You're the one it happened to only once, Eternal. Mm. I liked I like how now, because you're a female shepherd, you can't go into the men's bathroom. Oh yeah, before we could. Yeah. You could Mass Effect 2, but you can't in 3. I figure on a ship like this, they'd just be unisex. Yeah, they, they probably should be. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles <gasps> move. I mean the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? Okay, Joker, well... Really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Who do you want to support? Then look it up I mean, I think it's hilarious, but since I just started the romance with, uh, Liara, I'm, I'm gonna side with her. I'm not telling you if my... Don't you have a ship to fly, Joker? Fine, just asking a simple question. <laughs> Thank you. Blackmail would have been awkward to explain to Edie. <laughs> Hey, store discount or power damage bonus? Power damage bonus. I don't need a store discount. Yeah, two two five percent power damage bonuses. Smuggler manifest. Eight thousand tons of dextro amino food supplies. Sixteen thousand tons of Iveo amino acid food supplies. Two hundred thousand tons of platinum stamped ingots. Twelve alliance fighter craft inactive. Uh, 12 Hierarchy Interceptor Craft inactive. 300 indentured workers. Slaves from Karshan recaptured after the uh, after attempting to escape the Reapers, mainly Batarian. Jeez. Damn. Huh. Email from Jacob to Dr. Bryn. I miss you, Bryn. I'm glad you're back. But I'm glad you're back there. Uh, the fighting's going to get tough when we push out to the Crucible. Uh, I've gotten the cold shoulder from people I know I used to work from Cerberus. Can't say I blame them, especially what happened on the Citadel. I've been able to teach uh, the other so soldiers how Cerberus fights, though. They may be wearing new equipment, but I know their tactics. That's nice. Dr. Locke, I was working on something... I was working on that problem you sent me last night, and I think I found a solution for synchronizing the Crucible's energy bursts. Uh, punch the attached capacitor redesign into your projections. It should shave 3.6 milliseconds off the Mass Effect field's activation time. You can see where that leads. If you approve, I will send you schematics to manufacturing. Uh, we need roughly 250,000 by tomorrow morning for testing. Holy shit. Jesus. Perhaps we can talk later. Okay. She don't want to talk to you. 
Hi, Cliff. Well, she just had to deal with Joker being all like, do your hair tentacles move? Yeah. Can you control your hair tentacles? Too I bad mean, you weren't here earlier, Tally. You know. Oh, yeah. You just miss Rex. I heard. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the geth out. I don't know. The genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. So what? <laughs> Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. No. Oh. <laughs> we should play poker sometime. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. Yeah. Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you tell him? What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both. Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. Well, he's a good leader. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me. Everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? <sighs> I mean, in reality, I get why it's necessary, but I don't like it. So I'm gonna say it's not acceptable. If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. A nice sentiment. Let's hope we can live by it. If you, uh, if we go to the Citadel, you can also try out that gun that Tali put down. That's true. It was all like, bam, gun. Check this shit out. So bad. When we, we saw, uh, when we went there to see Garrus, I went, I went, cause I forgot he existed for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot Garrus was even a thing. Maybe I should take him on the next mission. I'm forgetting about him, poor, poor dude. It's nice to have Tally back. I've made sure we're well stocked with dextro-based antibiotics and antihistamines. Hello, Commander. Hello. Garrus smell like butt. Yeah. That hurts my feelings. Well, I don't have the same feelings for Garrus that you do. You don't care about your feelings. <laughs> also, that's a lie. Yeah. I only see Garrus as a friend. Like a brother. I was thinking about that. I was like, man. You certainly know how to fight. I couldn't believe it when Shepard told me you were on the Normandy. It appears I have that effect on humans. Now Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive Quarians were considered attractive in my age. Pity no one can appreciate it now. Right. You know what? I think I have something important to do now. I won't keep you. 
<laughs> I mean, you know, I like that. I forgot <laughs> Garrett. <laughs> yeah. Cappy, please. The guy has been there for on the team in all three games. I know, and it was funny because I he's was. Sh- one, I think he's the only character that's been a, a playable character in all three titles. It's funny because I was just telling Matt last night how much I really, really loved Garrus's little side thing on the Citadel. The yeah, exactly. Shooting little thing. The shooting the bottles. Yeah, I've loved that. Studying the other side. Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. I don't understand what you mean, Kane. How did I forget Tali? She's not on our team. She's not a, she's not a member of our team. Garrus has been a member of our team on, on all three games. Yeah, Tali was a playable character in Mass Effect 2 because you recruit her. But in Mass Effect 3, you play her in one mission. And that's it. She's not on my team in Mass Effect 3. Yeah. She was on the last mission. That doesn't count. No, it doesn't count. She's not She's not a, a, a no. multiple selectable character. She's a one-time only deal. Yeah. That's, that's like saying uh, Liara is a playable character in Mass Effect 2 because she's on the DLC. Liara is not a playable character in Mass Effect 2, by my opinion. I don't, I don't think so. I think they have to be on your team in the Normandy where you could select them at every mission the way, like, the way Garrus has been. Or, like, you know. Well, Garrus is the only one. But, like, the people that are on my team now. Yeah, I think Garrus is... Uh, I think Garrus is the only one. Yeah. Because everyone else has just joined me on little short side missions mm-hmm. so far here. And some not at all. Yes. You mentioned before your people had problems with AI. The Jatil, they were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? Their creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI sees the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. Uh, I don't know. He's different to me. Maybe. But he's not like the other Geth. You can't know that. They are more alien than you and I are to each other. Just because Legion isn't like us doesn't mean he can't be trusted. You're wrong. Throw it out the airlock. How can you be that certain? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that, but I see your point. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. I don't know. I mean, there has to be another way. I can't believe there isn't some way for us to coexist. We made them. And then gave them the power to surpass you. There is room for only one order of consciousness in the galaxy. The perfection of the machines or the chaos of the organics. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. I... Disagree? <laughs> I like Legion. I don't know about all other Geth. I mean, granted, but I trust Legion. Falling at the very tires. least. I need a folding chair or something. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. Do we need to talk, Commander? 
<laughs> wow. You can just kick her off your ship? Yep. I'm not going to do that because I don't really see any reason to, but... Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Wow. Yeah, you can kick her off your ship at any time. The fuck off my ship. Basically. I kind of nothing her. Yeah, most people forget she even exists. Even yeah. if you bring her on the ship. She's kind of a throwaway character. I, I, I feel that way too. I can't imagine wanting to romance her. Ugh. Gabby, what do you think about our new yeoman, Miss Trainer? She's not a yeoman, she's a communication specialist. And you're barking up the wrong tree, Kenneth. You're not her type. <laughs> oh. Well, perhaps you should go and talk to her then. Maybe I should. Nobody's barking up my tree. If it works out, be sure to take video. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Just spit all over my desk. Mm, I'm cleaning it. Yep. I love the way that thing warbles. Yeah. You see it like... It's really awesome. Need anything, Commander? I don't think so. No. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's all stuff we've already done. All that's left is James and... Cortez. Cortez. I've always loved the M35, Mako. It's got heart, you know? Oh, come on. The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? You don't know. Commander, you flew that Geth fighter out of a dreadnought? Actually, Legion did the piloting. I was stuck in a storage compartment with my squad. Would have loved more time with that ship. Too bad we sent it to Hackett's team so quickly. Hurt. Can't go that way. Yeah. Nope, don't got that one. Hey, Commander. Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. You could say that. Sorry I missed it. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but... You sure we can trust it? Yes. Legion's not like other Geth. We can trust her. If you say so. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their... species. Look at Sparks. If all the Corians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Sparks? Yeah, your Quarian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Uh-huh. <laughs> crazy that they pick now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life is we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Not everybody's as crazy as you, ma'am. And he's gone and yeah. back over there again. Very <laughs> awkward. Well, at least we got to talk to him, so that was good. All right, uh, I am... Where is my heavy pistol? Carnifex. We're gonna max out the Carnifex, cause... Cause Carnifex, people, the hand cannon. How are you gonna turn that baby down? You say no! No! No, baby! Which one's the Mako? Is the Mako the one from Mass Effect 1? Because the hammerhead was Mass Effect 2, wasn't it? Where to now, Cappy? Oh, we're gonna go to the Citadel so you can try out the new gun thing and then we can meet with Miranda. Okay. Mako's Mass Effect 1. Okay. Yeah, definitely Team Mako. 100%. 
save the admiral and shut down the geth server so that's like a tachanka style mission setup place and then there's fuel reactors to deal with let's go to the citadel we'll make a game plan for i guess saturday after this like we'll look and see everything we're gonna do and then kind of figure out before we kind of remember what we're gonna do going in the next time we play yeah so i'll probably end up stopping after this because my back's really you're clear to dock normandy do you need ground transport embassies the... oh what, did, what were you gonna say oh you're gonna do the the gun, gun. first okay yeah 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 i need to get to the embassies yes commander what do you think miranda said Commons? We'll find out. Transfer operate, uh, authorization. Private Talavi has requested a transfer to a unit actively engaging the Reaper hostiles. A note from Sergeant Alembe says that Private Talavi is an exceptional, exceptional engineer. Recommended her for duty on a team set to sabotage Reaper processor centers. Spectre authorization would fast track this request. Sure. Authorized. Sure. Shotgun high caliber barrel level four. That's 200,000. We're gonna drop 200,000 on that gun yet. Maybe at the end, before the PNR, yeah. I might do that. Oh, yeah, I don't even see my face, so what does it matter? Oh, that's. So instead of the phalanx, let's try this thing real quick. That's actually pretty cool. Well, are y'all reset? Yeah, you reset. Okay, how's it deal with shields? Shields go down in one hit. Well, because it said it had, uh, it, that's what the whole thing was, and she says it was like enhanced to like take down shields. Armor. Armor goes down in one hit. Health is just destroyed. That's a pretty nice gun. Maybe I'll switch to this thing. It looks like it shoots a little spread. Yeah, just a little tiny one. Oh, it uses three ammo per shot. So it would be a spread. Yeah. 27, 24. Mm -hmm. I kind of like this gun. Let's use this. It was also the shotgun, but I don't think you use shotguns, right? I do not. Or no. No, it wasn't a shotgun. Was it a sniper? Yeah, I don't use those either. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah, shotguns or snipers are the two I don't. <sighs> and actually, that gun only puts me to negative 2%. That's really good. That's basically... Negative 2%. That's basically zero. And can you upgrade that one the way you just bought the other stuff? Mm-hmm. We should do that before we quit so you don't forget. I will. Let's go do that now. So you don't forget? Yeah. Okay. Spectre status. One moment, please. And then we'll go looking for Miranda. Okay. I also want to save before we talk to Miranda, because there's this... 
There's a little bit in my mind that thinks talking to her activates her mission. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper Sergeant. And may I ask why you think But it may just set up the mission on my map. I'm hoping it's the latter. Me too. Because if it's if it starts the mission, then we'd have to like Alt F4 and quit. Because we won't have time to do it. <laughs> yeah. All right, engineering. No, shuttle bay. Well, would you rather just be safe and wait and talk to her the first at the beginning of the uh, next? No, game? we just do it real quick. It's not a big deal. Arc pistol, the second, the it's right at the top. Upgraded. Noise. All right, let's go back to the CIC. And we'll dock back here. The Alliance docks, and we'll go to the Commons. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you <sighs> need ground transport? I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. Cappy getting sleepy. Yeah. Yeah, Miranda is here. And Tali. Mm, well, let's go see Tali. It's always nice to talk to people, like, outside of the Normandy as well. Yeah. For sure. Wait, where was Tali? Courtyards. Ah, over here. I'm going to wander around for a minute, see if I find her. Found this pick. Puts a link in, in Twitch that I can't click on. Put it in Discord! What's it a pick for? I have no idea! What's it a pick for? Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Thank you for shopping at Nosastra Sporting Goods. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. You will find out. Are y'all posting spoiler pictures? Professional grade oh my god. Alright, well if it's... Then don't put it in Discord. No, don't put it in Discord. Thank you for shopping at... Welcome to Agor Munitions. Please obey all local Remember, all restrictions all restrictions when when I don't Agor know what... I don't know anything about Doctor Who. Yeah, did Tali put on stealth camo? Oh, here she is. There has to be some way for us to get more medical supplies. I told you already, we have nothing to spare. We're willing to pay. It's not about payment. Between the war on Palavan and the coup attempt here, supplies are short. If my people don't get more antibiotics and metagel, thousands of us will die. Then maybe you picked a bad time to start a war with the Geth. There has to be some I don't disagree with him, but you know I'm gonna support Tali. I told you already, we have nothing to spare. Tali saved the Citadel a couple years ago. Watch your tone. You're right. We're all on edge right now, but we don't have enough metagel for our own needs. We can't help your people right now. I'm sorry. Damn it. Thank you for trying to help. That's the problem, is right now everyone needs help. And it's yeah. in short supply, and it sucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. What is it? I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> she says begrudgingly. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. 
And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. But the elusive man stopped me. Stopped? Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. <laughs> Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. Dang. I mean, I see both ways. I get that it's like... You're rebuilding something to be used kind of as your own personal weapon. Wouldn't you want safeguards too? But at the same time, being my own person, I'm like, screw that. I guess I should just give her the benefit of the doubt. I know she meant well, even if it was a misguided thought. Okay. So, so you want to say you were, you were being cautious? Yeah. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how, but you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. Well, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, everything I sound say around Miranda just sounds really like... Whatever, bitch. Whatever, I don't care. I mean... Fuck you, ho. I'm not trying to sound that way, but it does come out that way. <laughs> I'm just very oh. just like bleh with her. I fucking love it. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my Apache. fancy genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda. This thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Alright, well, not too bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's the way I sound around her. I can't help it. How's everything going? Fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Whatever, Miranda. Nobody cares. Slutty McSlut face. Yeah. Fat ass McGee. Fat ass McGee. Fat ass is fat, baby. I mean, I get it. They they definitely made her... I always think about that, like, when they show her butt compared to, like, everyone else's. Don't be left out in the cold. Hey, that's... That was pretty good. Model for a live ship? Hey. Model for a Geth fighter? Yay. Do you want an eel? It's ten grand, but I want it. Oops, I slipped and bought it. Oh no! That's what are we worst. ever gonna do? That's so terrible. We got a new Ted. Now we'll have to go back to the Normandy and check out our t our, our Ted and our, our new uh, 
models. Yeah, and you got Greaves? I did get Greaves. Good grief. Uh, Good uh -huh. Greaves. Oh my god. You want a Mako model? Well, tough shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's such a wonderful man, isn't he? Oh man, it's awesome. Yeah. Hey, I got all my models now. Woo. My model wall is filled up. I like the Geth one. It looks really cool. <gasps> Let's see Ted. Ted, 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 Ted. Where's the Ted? There he is, there he is, there he is. There's another, there he is, there he is. Don't eat the other fish, Ted. There's two of them. Yep, one on each side. And they're connected. Ew. Noise. Like my butt. I don't get it. Your butt's nice or that it's connected? It's connected. My butt's connected. I don't really get it either. Alright, so do I want more health boost and a little shield boost or more shield boost and less health boost? Um, I think I'm going to go with a little more shield boost, actually. Okay. What are the Casa Arms? Armax. I don't have the Casa Arms yet. Well, we'll All find right. him later. We'll have to get those eventually. Save an exit. Fine! What's next, Cappy? Stopping for the night. Cause my back is a little achy and I wanna uh, go, I wanna go sit over there. I didn't have, the, that didn't rhyme with the song. God Let damn. Like the night. That song was my jam. Yeah. I didn't have an ending to it, though. I just... I want to go sit at my desk and be comfy. Okay, bye. Bye! All right, everybody. Thanks for coming and hanging out. We very much appreciate it. Yes. Uh, I will not be streaming tomorrow because I will be recording my podcast with everybody. Uh, but we will be doing some streaming on Saturday, so be sure to turn in for that. Turn in? I don't know. <laughs> Turn in for it, you guys. Whatever. <laughs> Join our Discord server. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, yeah, Twitter. That's the one. <laughs> All that good shit. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, everybody. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.